Hey everybody, it's Josh. Welcome to the Landlord Harassment Channel. And um, you can see my eyes are red. I didn't sleep last night. But listen, I wanted to quickly address the judge in my, uh, did, the judge who ruled in favor of Havercamp yesterday morning and ruled in favor of having me evicted, even though it was just a really frivolous case that Havercamp had, even though I proved my points, so on and so forth. But this video is actually going to cut that judge a little bit of slack. Um, because I've done some thinking. And I don't think that that particular judge is necessarily like corrupt. I could be wrong. Havercamp could be in her pockets. I don't know. But the thing with her is I never got the you're a piece of shit defendant vibe from her. I never got the, when I look at you as a defendant, I see a piece of shit vibe. And I'm usually really good at picking up on that vibe. But this judge did not seem to give off that energy to me. So I think she felt her, I think she ruled the way she did, not to, not because she wanted to be corrupt, but because she felt like her hands were tied in some sort of way. Now, as I said in my last video, I feel like I made my case and the judge should have ruled in my favor. But I don't think the judge wanted to rule the way she did. I think that um, I, don't, I didn't get the sense that she enjoyed for one second the ruling that she made. I just, I just didn't get the sense that she even, like her personally, really even thought it was necessarily right. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how else to word that, and I'm not wording that right, but that judge did not give me FU vibes, right? So I'm cutting her a little bit of slack. I think maybe she's probably afraid of Havercamp. You know, Havercamp owns a lot of stuff around here. For all I know, that judge has a sister who owns a hair salon in a building that Havercamp owns, or she has a brother who owns a restaurant in a building that Havercamp owns. I mean, Ames is not a huge community, and Havercamp has a lot of buildings here. So, you know, that judge could have just felt like this is the wrong ruling and her hands are tied. I, You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to Come on there and say that because I've said a couple of things that make it sound like I think this particular judge is corrupt. I have no reason to believe that she's usually a corrupt person, okay? Um, I just, you know, the more I think about it, the more I see the look on her face and everything like that. I, uh... She never gave me the I just want to get rid of you vibes either. And she was actually pretty patient with me as I was trying to remember my case points because, like I said, I forgot my notes and all of that. So I was trying to figure out what what I'm supposed to say without my notes because I forgot my folder full of my notes. So I just wanted to say that because um, I've said a couple of things that kind of hinted at the idea that maybe, you know, Essentially, Havercamp somehow, like, is in this judge's pockets or whatever. Um, but I wanted to cut this judge some slack because I think she, I don't think she enjoyed making this ruling. And I think it showed uh, just from the look on her face, from the vibe she gave me. I don't think she enjoyed making the ruling that she did. And I think that uh, she just felt like her hands were tied for whatever behind the scenes reasons, whatever behind the scenes politics is tying her hands. Um, so, cutting her some slack on this one. You know what I'm saying? If I ever have to go in front of her for any other reason, I don't judge her and I don't hold this against her. That's all I got to say. Bye.